<coughs> oh, uh, sorry. So, you've all hopefully read Animal Farm, right? We all read it in the 8th grade, and now this year. Well, the things that Animal Farm cover are pretty interesting to me. In this video, I'll just be covering the themes of the book and why I think they're pretty important. Theme 1. Politics. So, with the election going on right now, politics is kind of just what everyone seems to be talking about. Well, for Animal Farm, every type of animal has some sort of real-life counterpart. For example, Boxer's counterpart would be the working class, and for the pigs, it might just be the upper class. These tie in with how the book represents the USSR. For Napoleon, he would be Joseph Stalin, who was the leader for the Soviet Union, and for Snowball, he would represent Leon Trotsky, who differed from Stalin's ideals. Theme 2. Molding Ideals In the beginning of Animal Farm, the animal's ideals are rooted. They all have some sort of purpose, and can all be tied back to old Major's ideals in some sort of way. But by the end, they are the complete opposite. The pigs are basically just humans, and the animals are just animals living on a farm. Even the animals have their own ideals molded. In the beginning, the animals are independent. They don't serve anyone other than themselves. But by the end, they're just revolving around their own fear and dedication to the pigs. Theme 3. Language. Old World demonstrates how propaganda will control people, or animals. But one of the big uses of language would be four legs good, two legs bad and Napoleon is always right. These both demonstrate the animal's lack of understanding for their own revolution. Something that I put in my notes when I was reading Animal Farm, and I'll, I'll actually end it off right here, was simplifying things to their most basic rules only leaves room for corruption 